Hello everyone, I'm Asis Lamsal, Product Engineer at HD Geodata Management Team. In this demo, I'll show you various versioning operations using ArcGIS Pro SDK in Enterprise Geodatabase. Versioning allows multiple editors to alter the same data in an enterprise database without applying locks or duplicating the data. As the agenda of the demo, I'll talk about creating versions, switching versions, posting and reconciling versions, and deleting the versions. So let's dive into details on creating and changing versions. To create versions, first of all, you need to prepare the data set that support versioning. In order to do that, you have to publish the feature service and enable the support for versioning, which I have done prior to this demo. And to create the version, we'll use version managers create version method. This method takes version description and default version as a parameter. The version description defines the version name, version description, and the version axis type. After creating multiple versions, we'll switch the dataset versions by using change version method. And this change version method takes two parameters, from version and to version. Let's look into the demo. Here I'm using the Grand Teton National Park sample dataset. You can see campsites, park trails, park boundaries, and camping areas but we are mostly focusing on manipulating the campsite. We'll create, move, and delete the campsites. On the right-hand side, you see the document add-in created for this demo. Let me create a couple of versions using this demo app. Before creating version three, let me put a breakpoint, and then we'll walk through the code. Here, the breakpoint got hit. I got the GeoDatabase instance from active map layers. From GeoDatabase instance, I got the version manager. And use that version manager to find the default version. And use that default version to create a new version. Here, I describe the version description. It has a version name, version description, and version axis type as a public. The new version with version name 3 is created. I'll go ahead and continue. Here we can see version 3. But this map is still pointing to the default version. Let's go to select and switch the versions. I'm going to select version 3. In the content pane, you see the name change. It changed into version 3. Now let's switch to version 2. Version 2. Before switching back to version 3, I'll put the breakpoint and switch method. Our breakpoint got hit. Uh, we got the geo database, which is of course coming from Active Map, and then version manager coming out of geo database, and use that version manager to get the current version, which is currently selected on the map, and two version, the version we'd like to switch. And here is the change version method that takes the current version and two version to switch the versions.
now our version is switched back to version 3 so far we have created three different versions but we haven't made any changes on this version data and all versions are inherited from the default versions they have identical data now let's um, switch gear towards update data in a version and transfer the changes from local version to default version and also pull the data from default version to local version using posting and reconciling the post is a technique to transfer your local changes to the default version and reconcile is a technique to pull updates from default version to local version the default version is the root version which is the parent of all other versions you maintain and update the default version by posting changes to it from its child versions. For both posting and reconciling, we define the reconcile description object. The reconcile description defines ways to handle conflict detection, conflict resolution, and post. With this, let's look into the demo. For this demo, I would like to move these two features out of the boundary. And I will create two features over here. Let me put a breakpoint on post method. And hit post the breakpoint got here we have share database version manager current person uh, the person which has the local changes and the parent person is default version here I describe the reconcile description which has conflict resolution as continue conflict detection by row and conflict resolution type as favor edit with first is true let's skip selection for partial posting for now and where is the current person the reconcile method which will transfer our local changes to the default version at this point I'll just go ahead and continue With this custom message, we can say that our version is successfully posted. Let's switch back to the default version and see the changes. Here in the default version, we can see two newly created campsites and two newly moved campsites. But those versions that are created earlier version 1 and version 2 are still pointing to the old data set let's switch to one of them and see what it looks like now version 2 got selected uh, these campsites are still inside the boundary and you cannot see the newly created campsites so i'll go ahead and hit the reconcile to pull the changes from default version to the local version before going to that, I'll put a breakpoint and reconcile method. Same as earlier, JDAT base, person manager, current person, parent person. Here is the reconcile description for reconcile the post flag is false that means uh, it pulls the updates from default person to the local person
and use the same current version that reconcile to pull the updates. See if it has any conflicts. No conflict. At this point, I'll just go ahead and hit continue. Now we can see the campsite that are just moves outside of the camping area and to newly created features. So far, I've shown you the simpler workflow of posting and reconciling which moves all the changes in the local version. Now let's look into the advanced posting workflow which is used to transfer part of local changes to the default version and it is called partial posting. For partial posting, you need to select the features that you want to transfer to the default version. It is supported on ArcGIS 10.9 However, it is not supported yet for utility networks, parcel fabrics, and topology. The reconciled description for parcel posting has a one extra member in addition to our regular posting, which is partial post selections, where we assign our selected feature, and also to support the partial posting of deleted features. I've set up an attribute rule on feature class to keep log of deleted features in a separate table as an upper right code snippet. With this, let's look into the partial posting demo. For partial post, I'll select version 1. I'll move those campsites. I'll delete those. and I'll create two campsite here. And from each operation, I'll pick one for parcel posting. I'll pick one from move, one from create, and we'll pick one from those deleted features in this deleted feature list part here. I'll go ahead and add selected. It's so to display the deleted features. And I'll select one. And then hit the post. Here we see the similar information as earlier. We have G database, person manager, current person, parent person, same reconciled description. Here is the key part for the parcel posting. Here I'm getting list of selections and I'm assigning those list of selections to parcel push selections member of reconciled description object with this current person the reconcile method our parcel port get transfer to the default person go and hit continue success now let's go to the default version and see the results.
here you see out of two created features only what got transferred to default out of two mode feature only one got outside of the boundary and out of two deleted features campsites only one got deleted in the default to track the deleted campsite features i have set up an attribute rule on campsite feature class that locks the object id of deleted campsite in campsites log deleted table and this rule triggers during delay it basically says store the deleted features object id into uh, deleted campsites object id in campsites log deleted table now let's move into another topic which is delete there are two things you need to keep in mind during delete you cannot delete the default version and cannot delete a version that is currently in use and we use the version the delete method to delete a version let's look into the demo since this map is pointing to default we can select and delete any of those versions over here so i'll go ahead and i'll go ahead and delete version 3 version 3 got deleted before i select and delete another one let me go ahead and put the breakpoint Just a breakpoint. And person that delete. It will delete the person. I'll hit continue. Person to get deleted. Same with person one. Version 1 also got deleted. With this delete operation, I would like to end the demo session. Hope it has been helpful. Thank you for your time.